Hi, I'm here at Mobile World Congress Barcelona and joining us today is Mr. Wang Weibin, who is a Chief Scientist of Product Planning at CETI. So thank you very much for joining us. So the, there is no doubt that the development of AI technology is playing an increasingly important role in various industries. Yes. How do you think that AI can bring value to the 5G advanced core network? Okay, uh, as we know that AI is very hot today and uh, it will be the dominant trend of the future. So we know that uh, the telecom operators are embracing AI and uh, uh, some leaders has uh, unlocked its value. So for core network, we think uh, uh, the AI is not uh, only usable for the operator, but uh, uh, it's, it's valuable for the subscriber. So first, uh, uh, the operator can introduce AI uh, to enhance their uh, traditional voice service with new features like uh, phone call and uh, yeah, and the media tiering and so on. And uh, uh, for uh, connectivity, uh, the operators can personalize the, 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 the connectivity by uh, analysis, analysis the user, uh, user data and the user behavior and the user uh, prefer preference mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, with AI and, and uh, can customize the, the experience, improve the experience of the subs sub subscriber. And uh, for uh, AI can also uh, prevent uh, or predict, predict uh, the failure of the network, uh, uh, speeding up the, uh, the troubleshooting of the network. I think it's very useful. Okay, yeah, yeah. great. So SETI is currently a leader in the mobile core network market. What innovative solutions is SETI already offering in terms of the integration of AI with the core network? Okay, uh, for ZTE, we are uh, one of the first uh, to complete the cloud native transit. Uh, now we are moving to AI native networkers. Uh, we launched uh, uh, release one of AI core network uh, solution. Uh, so it focuses on four aspects as uh, uh, service intelligence and uh, connectivity intelligence and the operation and the infrastructure of the uh, network cloud intelligence. Uh, so uh, firstly, in terms of the service uh, intelligence, uh, as we have mentioned that uh, we introduced uh, a new calling powered by uh, AI. It can bring many new features of the service. Uh, we also introduced uh, a large model of anti-fraud. Anti it used in the message system, and it can uh, improve uh, the uh, improve the detection and prevention of the fraud uh, messages. Uh, that's the uh, service intelligence. So next, uh, for the connectivity uh, intelligence, uh, so uh, we offered uh, a tiered and smart uh, user experience uh, solution based on uh, 3GPP NWDF. Uh, so it's it's already standard, uh, and uh, we ma uh, we introduce the AI to the to the core network and make uh, make it uh, uh, a smart uh, tiering uh, connectivity personalized. It can improve the user's experience. So thirdly, uh, according to the uh, operation uh, intelligence, we offer the AI OPS uh, solution. This include uh, that uh, maintenance uh, co pilot. So we distribute, uh, we, we deploy the distributed pool of heterogeneous computing resources to support uh, diverse AI applications. So that's our uh, solutions. We just uh, uh, published a white paper of AI core uh, techno technical system uh, today. And uh, in the white paper, we share our concepts our uh, solutions and our practice in AI core network. If you read it, you can get more detail. Great, Great. so Mr. Uh, Weibin, could you please share with us SETI's uh, uh, business progress and also f future outlook regarding the integration of AI with the core network, please? Okay, uh, 
we, uh, you know, we are uh, always closely cooperate with the uh, telecom uh, operators in to integrate AI to core network. So we are the world first to launch uh, a modulized uh, AI plus new calling uh, network. Uh, and in this network, uh, we can cooperate with uh, any AI service developers and introduce their their service, AI service, to the core network, uh, just uh, like a platform. Yeah. It's open, and uh, we also uh, launched a, a, a anti-fraud message uh, by AI uh, uh, solution uh, with China Mobile. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's launched in Shanghai city, and it it's a greatly improved uh, pre prevention and detection of the fraud message. Uh, uh, thirdly, we uh, also verified uh, the disaster recovery of a data center uh, by digital twin technology. So that's uh, that's the we we have do uh, in the in the living net network. Uh, we think uh, that uh, by the uh, open ecosystem and uh, our AI capability and then the cooperation with our customer, uh, ZTE will persistently uh, contribute to the digital transformation and uh, sh shaping the AI network in the future. Great, Mr. Weibin, thank you very much for your insight. Thank you. Thank you.